I'm Matt Gelka in Washington, where there's still some uncertainty about the legal future of President-elect Donald Trump, even though his federal cases appear to be over. Special Counsel Jack Smith moved to shut down the two federal cases against Donald Trump related to taking classified documents from the White House and Trump's role in January 6th. Trump declared victory on Truth Social, calling the process a political hijacking. Smith deferred to the Justice Department policy of not prosecuting presidents or incoming presidents, to the dismay of some Democrats. Donald Trump is simply uh, evading accountability because he won the presidential, presidential election. And there's a Department of Justice policy uh, that has never been vetted, that has never been approved or uh, even challenged in front of a court. Uh, that prohibits prosecuting a sitting president. Trump's still facing two state-level cases out of New York and Georgia that are in limbo. His sentencing in the New York hush money case was supposed to happen Tuesday, but it's been delayed indefinitely. Some judge is going to say you can't just put a case on hold against a uh, president of the United States. Former U.S. Attorney John Fishwick doesn't believe a delay in the New York case would make it through an entire Trump second term. I don't think the Supreme Court would let the case be put on hold for four years. I think they would say, you know, you can't have something hanging over a president of the United States uh, about a criminal prosecution. And if the case is pending, Arguably, something's hanging over Trump. There are also potential future implications related to Trump's federal cases. The Florida judge in his classified documents case previously ruled Jack Smith was unconstitutionally appointed to the case. It's a ruling that could come back to bite a new Justice Department. I think future defendants, other political cases could say if a special counsel was appointed, look, they don't have the authority to prosecute me. And that case could eventually make its way back to the Supreme Court against another defendant. Trump's legal team has until next week to ask for his New York case to be completely dismissed. And the prosecution has until the week after that to respond. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Galka.